everybody! Welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe! The last time we played th this, we uh, found the captain, and now we have to go... We're going back on to the thing. You know what? From now on, I'm no longer doing recaps. To get a recap, you guys must watch the other video, so... To encourage you, as a way to of encouraging you to watch my other videos, so... Yeah, go watch the other video, go watch my other videos on Pikmin 3 if you have Deluxe or if you haven't already, go watch all my videos on Pikmin 3 and Bowser's Fury and and, and every single series I ever make. And yeah. So let's get into this. Captain, we're so relieved to see that you're okay. Well, I have my faithful crew to thank for that. So thank you. I actually mistook that strange creature for you. You have you two have very similar features. Did you know that? <laughs> to be honest, while trapped in the belly of that vile beast, I thought of one face, Brittany. My own. Well, we'll never escape PNF 404 until we lo locate this treasure obsessed Olmar fellow. He's got our cosmic drive key. But don't get for, for but don't forget why we're here to search for fruit on a, for our planet for us too, or else we'll starve. What's the signal coming from over there? A signal like that? If it's not coming from our ship, or one of us, maybe it's Olimar. With a transmitter that strong, it must be planetary explorers like us. It must be the Hokitation. And where we find Olimar, that's where we'll find our cosmic drive key. Let's track this signal to its source! Oh, by the way, guys, I've decided... Oh yeah, we're gonna do a side story mode episode video eventually, but... Really quick before I do it, I've decided, I've changed my mind, and I've decided that I am actually going to can keep playing the series until I beat it, instead of stopping when I stop, when, and stopping when I ca catch up to where I'm at on Pikmin 3, just so I can, like, start another series, you know? Y you know. So we're going to the Tropical Wilds, aka we're re revisiting Elf's Crash Site, aka we're, and you know the thumbnail, revisiting Elf's Crash Site, if, if you have watched, if you've watched my, uh, I forgot, it was like day, I think it was day 10 and 11 of my Pikmin 3 series. Also guys, I recommend you don't do this, but if you want to hear like, the worst, the, the craziest noise ever, uh, if you so really quick quick tip if you um if you use your if you're on computer and you use like your mouse you can press on the scroll wheel and on a like a an, a video on YouTube to open up another tab without going to it. If you want, you can now again I don't recommend you do this unless you want pure chaos, but you can do that f for and open up all of my videos and then play them all at once and it'll just be chaos. So. I don't recommend that. Enough talking about that. Let's get back into the video, at, or this video. It seems that the signal originated from this area. That mu that treasure hunting Olimar must be here somewhere. You know, this is the first place I landed on this planet. Was he, he really here with our key this whole time? Plenty of time for nostalgia later. Let's track down that signal. And don't pass up any fruit on the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually we're gonna take out about this amount of every Pikmin. And the reason why is because we're gonna dismiss them all. Alpha's gonna take about and or actually Alpha's no, Alpha's gonna take 20 of each Pikmin. And, oh, he's also gonna. Hold on, so he's gonna take 20 of each Pikmin and Charlie with him. Actually, no, he's gonna take. You know, no, 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 no. I've just. I realized how this is gonna go. So instead, he's going to take. 20 of all Pikmin. And then Brittany is going... Actually, no. Sorry. 
I know what I'm trying to do, but I know, but I'm realizing how it, this the the game works and how that what I'm trying to do isn't actually gonna work. So the first thing we're gonna do. Oh, okay, you know what? In the last, wait, you guys. Here's the thing I need want you to do. Go check out my um other playthrough of this, my Pikmin three. Because I don't think... I'll see all this grass here. I don't think there's grass here before. I think this was like sandy beach. Just like beach, desert, sand. Just like it was... Just like it is everywhere else. Like, you guys need to go do that and put tell me in the comments. Or actually, and then I'll like go watch a video if you guys... Well, actually, no. I'll go watch a video and decide that. That's not far across, but... Cripes, this is bad. Those guys aren't even really that harmful. Dude. <sighs> oh, good thing they can't walk across. I mean, they can walk across, but good thing when they're called, they can't. Because if we watch Brittany walk across, she can definitely... If we watch... If we watch Alf walk... Yeah, he can definitely go across her, so... Uh, we're gonna throw, um, some more rocks... This is bad. 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 No! Okay, fine. You'll die, and I'll make some more. I didn't want to do this, but I guess I'm have to because of these stupid sheer grubs. Ah, uh, this is why I don't like. This is another reason why I don't like them. I, I really don't like what's happening right now. This, like, this rock is, like, dying, but he's not dead. Okay, this is just pure chaos, and I, like, don't like any bit of it. So I take all of these guys. That was just insanity that I'd hate more than anything. I'll uh, go throw, charge all these guys on that. Send all you up here. Send Brittany up here to go do this. Oh, wrong button. Swap capped. I thought I saw some. Oh, yeah, there's this thingy over here. I wonder what that is. In fact, in my other series, I haven't even checked this area out yet. But in, I'm not. I'm also. But I'm not going to do this on. Do it on this series either, unless I can confirm that I have the time for it. You guys go break down this wall. Cause look, this one has triangles, but then that one has stripes over there. So like, the, I don't know why, but also in this game they definitely made it so that these walls have different like patterns on them. It's not like I have a problem. I'm against it or anything, but I just I wonder why. Okay. It's hard to- oh, sorry guys, it's hard to figure out what thing to do to switch to what captain when you're already switched to a certain captain and whatever. Okay, all you guys go here. I'm afraid those rocks will die, though. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna call them off in a sec. Let me just attack this guy. There are teammates to have them automatically pluck sprouts. And now I'm gonna switch, and oh no, there's already Rock Pikmin on the other side. Okay, I guess I may as well just finish the job. That's the thing I don't like about this game, is how Rock Pikmin can go on, on the other side of a wall like that. And also, for very, for very important reasons, the Red Pikmin population will be increased. I will be growing the Red Pikmin population over here. Uh, about, I'll throw about... I'll throw you guys onto that. Now, I forgot, I, I for, again, I forgot what that is in real life, but I know that in this game, it's called a, um, it's called a mango steen. I've even, like, looked it up, whatever, to confirm. It's a mango steen. Mango steen. Mango steen. Mango steen. Mango steen. Mango steen. I don't know why it's called a mango steen. It's weird that it's called a mango steen. Like, seriously, this doesn't look like a mango. It looks like a tomato that's purple, but also, like, a uh, plum. It looks like a purple tomato plum thing. And not nothing like a mango. 
So I have no idea why it's called a mango steen. I know, I know what I just said certainly isn't the reason. Like, it's kind of obvious that it's not that, but it's still weird that it's called a mango steen. Uh, but enough about that. So we, in doing what we just did, we did a very important thing. Let's take all these, uh, sheer grubs. I forgot what they're called. I think they're called, like, swarming sheer grubs. And I'm not gonna go list all the reasons why I don't like them. I think I've already done that once. And if not, then I'll do it some other time. In fact, I'll just list it in the comments section. This guy... Whoa, guys, 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 oh god, we gotta get, we gotta take a picture of this now. This guy is literally floating! This is definitely going on as a part of the thumbnail. Why is he floating, guys? That is a glitch. That's insane. Oh my god. I will never get over the fact that there's a, f a swarming, a swarming sheer grub that's floating. Like, no joke. Can someone explain to me why that's a thing? I mean... Why is a... And, I mean, not just... Not just... Not just... A, sh a swarming sheer grub, but why is anything at all floating it happens it, it, it just happens to be a swarming sheer grub okay that was kind of risky i'm gonna build up you know i'm gonna build up the yellow pikmin population they're pretty new to us and uh yeah i'll send the rest of you guys over here oh no yellow 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 okay good thank goodness i'll take you all you guys can go do that. All of you extras who couldn't take that back are gonna go follow. Come with me. I'm pretty sure with the yellow Pikmin, I actually got the Behemoth Fossback corpse taken back. I'm never gonna forget about that guy, guy floating. Like, even with that picture, that's a def and that's definitely gonna be a part of the thumbnail. Also, I, re I just re realized something about this area here. There used to be a, a single male sheer grub that would like go around here, but now there there isn't one. With one more person, dot, dot, dot. We're picking up a strong signal, but we can't seem to actually reach it. If we had a third party, we might be able to. But I just got an out of office, office message from the boss. He probably doesn't get much reception at the beach. We're kind of at a beach, too. But it's not quite the same. And this is why we took two captains, and this is also why my plans wouldn't work. Because my the plans that I originally had... Oh, Brittany, seriously. I even locked on and everything. But the plans I originally had for this would require two captains... So I figure, but this also requires two captains, and I figured that it would be, I don't know why, but I just, well, I just figured it would be kind of useless to do what my plan, what, do like only a little bit of my plan, it would probably have been actually helpful, but, well actually no, but yeah, but then that's the issue, because then doing my plan, my other optional plan would require only, may only require, may only have required one Pikmin, or, one captain, but I needed two captains, and there's only three captains. You get what I mean. Split into three quads, squad, qu blah, 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 squads to manage your workload more efficiently. This is, yeah, this is what I was trying to do, but with the way that works, it does. I couldn't, and I'm not gonna. And like, I, and if you haven't already uh, known, then I am not. I have kind of already stated. Well, I've, I've already seen my other one. I am not going to do any cheeky, any cheeky cheats or little things you can do to bypass some boundaries. I'm going to keep this, the, I'm going to play this the legitimate way, as you might, as a, you could say. Just be, because I don't, because I want to play, like, I don't want to, 
Oof, this is a dead end. Yeah, it's because... Uh, Charlie, your path... The pathing system was bad just then, because he... Charlie could may not be able to go over there, but he could have just walked down here. But the but the go here function was like, oh no, he has to go that way because it's like, and it's it wasn't even quicker. I don't I don't maybe it was quicker, but, but I I don't understand. Okay, stop. It's hard to figure out because when you have multiple captains in the field, it always feels like it's hard to figure out how you make them do the thing. How you like make them divide because like look look i normally i would just like press left to switch between these two but now it only lets me go but then i'm but then i try to like switch to charlie and i'd go to alf instead as you can so like instead of pressing right that's how that's so it's a little confusing with that but i'll get the hang of it eventually grab alf and with our 49 reds, 20 yellows, and 31 rocks, we are not going to skip the cutscene and go straight into this bossy boss boss fight. Also, I'm not sure. I already know what the thumbnail is gonna be, but I might add to. You know what? Nah. I think for the first time, I'm actually gonna in this series. I'm gonna have a thumbnail that. Or I meant for the second time, I'm gonna have a thumbnail that isn't multiple stuff, unless I just unless it ends up somehow being otherwise. That must be the source of the signal that drew us here. But where is Captain Oldemar? We've got to find out where he is. I bet if we capture that device, we can use it to expand the Drake's search range. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna go around here and get the data files. Uh, don't, when it shows its face, attack it with Pikmin. Use bomb rocks when it starts inhaling. Like, I'm gonna get myself prepared for this fight really quick. When they get sucked in, call them with the, whist with the whistle to save them. Now, here's something in the last fight that was really annoying that they seem to have probably fixed. Let's see if they did, though. Oh, yeah, because normally, see how it's giving me bomb rocks? Normally, because those data files normally wouldn't be there, and instead of giving you bomb rocks, they, um, the, the holes would just give you the data files that were already there. So now we actually can get those bomb rocks. I found a mysterious rock. I'm thinking maybe it could be used as a new weapon. For now, I'll keep the Pikmin carrying it separate from the others, and use L and R to select it. So yeah, that's a, um, Bomb Rock Man, and we are going to, uh, now this is why, because I wanted to prep, check, to see if they actually did that, and it wasn't just some other data file or something, so I'm gonna go get some Bomb Rocks before I engage in, or before I go dig that up, because I mean, there's clearly gonna be a boss fight, we already know that, and even though it doesn't seem like it, like, let's pretend we didn't get those data files. It seems a little too easy just to be able to dig it up, you know? But for a real shock to expression, you can go check out my original game play of this and the original version. Anyway, let's go charge the yellows to dig this up. And yeah, see, now they're digging it up. Oh, it's sinking. That's kind of weird. Why is it sinking? What's going on? Aha! It's a si it's the sand belching mirror slug! And now, we d didn't say that, but the data file said that, and also, we can't lock onto it to see its name. So, s I- Now in my other fight, I can't- It didn't happen, but there's actually this thing that might hap- No! Oh! There's actually this thing that might- Happen! Ah! One pig- Sadly, one pigman had to die just then. I think one pigman will always have to die for that. But yeah, this is probably going to be fast, but, so it's probably not going to be shown in this video either, but sometimes he'll, like, go, start to go up and go down, or start to go down and go up. Like, that is actually a true thing that could happen. I'm pretty sure his cheeks are, like, his, I'm pretty sure his cheeks are actually his weak, like, I'm pretty sure, I know his belly over here is his weak point, but I think his cheeks are also his weak point. Like, I'm, like, 
correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, but I think his cheeks are his other weak point besides his stomach. Cause I I I 100% know his stomach is normal is weak. Why do I feel so uneasy about this? Probably because he wants to do it, make it super big. Now, sadly, the only way to throw throwing a bomb rock in, into here causes one Pikmin to die. But it's worth it, because now he's dead. And there's a giant watermelon, and the other thing, and some cats, or whatever. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, oh yeah, so we got Duel in the Dunes, defeated the sand, defeat the sand, sand belching near slug in story mode. So we're gonna have the Reds take him back. We're also gonna have the Reds take the phone back. We're go and then we're going to go ahead and have the Reds take back this. Well, actually, we're gonna have as many of the Reds take back the stuff after it's yeah. It's huge even after it's been divided. Yeah, see, cause look, even after it spits out the watermelon and the phone thing, it's still really big. I don't know why, but that's just how this is. And then go ahead and put a f some guys on to this. I'm gonna go put some guys on to that. And yeah, and I actually get to take all the stuff back in one day. Luckily. So yeah, we take back all of this. We have two spare... Oh, wait, wait, I just realized we have two spare bomb rocks. In the dune near that uh, whip tongue bull board gives you two bomb rocks, so we can actually. So, unlike in the la other video, our last playthrough, we can actually um, blow up the rock wall over here and have another shortcut. Also, I'm pretty sure at, that when, when if a day's over, if you finish a day. But there's still bomb rocks. But you, but when you, some of your Pikmin have bomb rocks, the bomb, the Pikmin will go up into the onion with the bomb rocks. But then the bomb rocks will like be too big, and they'll fall out of the onion, or they won't go in, they, and they won't be able to go. Oh, cool! And they won't be able to go inside of the onion, and then you'll just come back here later and see them or something. Now, actually, though, this used to give you in the other video, cause like, so all of the, I'm gonna point out. Actually, you know what? Because in the other one, it, it actually gave you two bomb rocks, but now we have three. So I'll point out all the bomb rock stuff in the next, and after this day is over. But currently, we're waiting for all this stuff to be, to get back. Like, for example, this phone. Oh god, the watermelon and the phone are like stuck together. They're like on top of each other. So let's get the phone going. Let's get this big giant dude going. And then all the watermelon halves will come in pretty soon. Whoa, it's weird to see watch him just like go down the stairs or the ramp. That's, that that looked really weird. Let's throw our two two guys on um on that. Yeah, all in all, we may not have gotten the two two things that we did last time, but we're doing pretty good anyway. Aha! Looks like an incoming message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. As you can see, there's two cats on it. It's called folded date, folded date, folded data glutton. A communication device once he's on this planet that tells us that this planet used to be earth but something happened but we're not we're not caring about that so look this is like one of those very old fold-up phones and it's called folded data and look it has like the call numbers some stuff a picture on it so yeah the reason why it's called folded data glutton is because it like holds a bunch of data and it's and it can fold its signal strength is very powerful and contains technology unknown to Kopai. Transmitter is fully intact. Can this be folded in two? Unbelievable! I'll have off inspect this and see if we can use any of its components in the Drake's communication system. 
so yeah, that pretty much wraps up this day. We just as soon as the other stuff gets back. See, look. Do you see that? That giant guy. Okay. Here's why I think. You know, I just thought. Here's why you should be able to take back. Uh, take back giant. Like, there's this one. Well, I don't want to spoil the game. So, uh, go watch your my other video really quick. I'll give you some time to do that, and then you can come back to this. Like, we'll go. So, go watch. It was like day. I think day nine on Pikmin three. But go watch it. Where that that video. And uh, I'll give. I'll pause so you can go do that, and then come back to this one. Okay, so now that you're back, that y and you've hopefully watched that, there. So if you have watched that, then you'll know there's a giant shaggy long legs, and I hope you did just go watch that. Otherwise, it's major spoilers. But otherwise, it's but the otherwise. But if you didn't, it's kind of your loss. But anyway, okay. Look. So first of all, yeah, the bomb rocks just do that. So I'm gonna go call call up the day but before I do that and get into the end and end the day also check the hints yeah end the day okay so really quick the shaggy long legs here's why even though he's super big here's why I think you should be able to take him back because think of the size of the sand belching mere slug and the daddy long, the shaggy long legs. They're like about the same size almost. Like almost, not really, but almost. And the sand belching mirror slug is super big, even without the stuff inside of him, and he only takes 20 Pikmin to carry back. So why can't, because the shaggy long legs will just, you know, if you don't know, It'll, like, fade away when you kill it. And it'll only, like, open itself up and drop stuff. So, if this... If the... If the huge... Again, even without the stuff inside of it... Sand Belching Mere Slug only takes a mere 20 Pikmin... Then why can't the shaggy... The shaggy long legs be taken back... At about 40 or so Pikmin... Or 20 Pikmin... Or 30 Pikmin... Or 25 Pikmin... Or 35... Like... I don't understand why that thing can't be taken back... But that uh, giant sand belching mere slug can... That is just weird in many ways. Or strange. But anyway. Let's end the day here. And continue with the video. Finish the video. Wrap up the day. Episode. Whatever. There's another whip tongue bull borb that almost he oh you know if this guy was smart he would have licked the onion and like shoved his tongue into it and like ate some Pikmin but he doesn't know what he's doing and also that would be kind of mean to like every what like every day you're forced to lose Pikmin because of how slow the onion is. Looks so we got now it says we have like a thousand new fruits, but since all of the water, since when the guy spat out the water, since when the sand belching, but because of the fact that when the sand belching mirror slug spat out the um the watermelon, it, it turned into like these seven pieces. Technically, we only got three new fruits. Since the watermelon is actually one fruit, split up into multiple fruit pieces. First, the, oh, that's what it was called. So this, um, mango scene that looks like a purple tomato slash plum thing, and not a mango at all, called the mango scene in real life, is a dapper blob in this game. And it fills up about one juice. Very interesting juice color, not gonna lie. 
Then we have the pocket and airhead, which I still don't know what this is. It looks like a orange pumpkin, pumpkin orange, orange pump, like not not an orange pumpkin, you know, orange pumpkin, but like a pumpkin orange. Like you probably don't know, like. It just looks like a pumpkin orange because, or like this really weird shaped pumpkin because the bottom of it looks like a orange, right? But then the top of, but then it has like a top, and the top of it looks like one of those like, like the pumpkin top. So it's it's weird. But yeah. So pocket deer head, pumpkin orange, orange pumpkin thingy hybrid. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just a very weirdly shaped pumpkin. Fills up about one and a half juice, two and a half juices. The just like unlike the orange, the the orange fills up like one and a half. This is like that that top part gives us like half the juice, and the rest of it is like two juices or something. I don't know. So you have the crimson banquet. So this one piece doesn't even fill up half a juice, which. No, having analyzed several types of fruit, we are now able to triangul triangulate fruity position. We can now use a radar to locate fruit, but couldn't you always have done that? Yeah, see, those markings were even, um, were literally like, I'm pretty sure were literally, uh, literally, might have actually literally been there the whole time, but I don't know. I don't really know. So display the location of fruit, even in the areas you haven't explored. So yeah, this is all Crimson Banquet. Now, I don't know why that big piece didn't even fill up, filled up less than half. That part, same with that, but it still, like, got the job done. Actually, no, it did. It, it just, I guess. This thing, I think, fills up, like, one and a half, or one. I think all together, this fills up, like, one and a half juices. And then, and then, like, with, or whatever... So we have this, it squirts about that much to make another juice container, and then it squirts about that much more. This part, look at it, not even half, how does, why doesn't it squirt, which it squirt out more than what it did. And then this bit like barely fills up anything at all. I was so hungry, I could have juiced the drink itself. D Brittany, how were you that hungry? You literally, this is what you should have been saying two days ago. When, in fact, no, you, Brittany, you, you've eaten every single night slash day. Why, how do you get that hungry? Because I rescued you the same day we, we, me, I got, Alf got separated with you, which means that you got to drink juice that day. So if you got to drink juice every day, then how would you have been that hungry after one day? But you haven't said that any other day. I don't understand you. You have some weird hunger issues. You're like, that, I'm just not even... Just eat, drink some orange juice. We have red. So we have yellow, orange, red, like two magenta, purple, pink things. Like I think it's magenta, something like that. Then we have an orange, like a, a green, yellow. Again, I can't really tell. Like a lighter, a more orange. I can't really tell what those are, considering the Britney's bubble thing is blocking the way. And then on the top row, going from left to right, we have yellow, yellow. Very light yellow, like so light it may as well be white. Then we have yellow, yellow, orange, um, and then two reds. And we have like half a red back in the old, back in the old Drake, whatever. I forgot where the, you know what, I just thought, I forgot where the other cherry is. Because there's like, I'm pretty sure there's like three cherries in this game. There's like three cherries. There's the one in the dis there's like the two in the distant tundra. And then there's like one somewhere else that I have I forgot where it was. I, w I wonder where I wonder where it is. I'm pretty sure in my other playthrough I've gotten it, so it sh should be somewhere we've are near bot. So we should be getting it pretty soon, but anyway, so let's go check our badges. So uh, new horizons which was landing here. Uh, let's see, I have 46 badges, I have 
Four mission, all bingo. Four, what are the dedicated ones? Oh, these are like the hard ones. So we have like these, but we have like defeat three indigenous creatures via explosions such as a bomb rock. Which, uh, yeah, I defeated the sand belching mirror slug with it. I defeated. Uh, actually, isn't that all I defeated with it? That's all I remember to. Oh, yeah, defeat one out of one. Oh, no, but it says defeat three! And then it says I've d done one out of one. That's that's a little, that's a little weird. And we have by, we have playing story mode with second player, submission mode with second player. I don't care about that. I actually uh, defeated a s indigenous creature without the pigments help. That was very hard, actually. That was pretty chal. Well, it wasn't hard. It was just time consuming. Um, we have new horizons. Bearing fruit, which was getting one fruit. We got fruitful endeavor, which was getting ten fruits. The next one is like tw thirty, and then sixty-six, getting every single fruit. And we have animal annotators, getting ten pictopedia entries. To use the camera to take a photo, which you find fifteen exploration notes. Defeat the armored maw dad. Defeat the behemoth foss bat. Defeat the sand belching mirror slug, and then we have uh, we have dreams of adventure, green horn, or we have the one for uh, playing a mission. Now, believe it or not, guys, and now I am not joking whatsoever. Please believe me. This is I am like serious right now. When I played mission mode. The first mission I played, I played it by myself. The very first mission, okay? The first mission in the game. Now, keep in mind, I've already played on the Wii. I've already played mission mode by myself. And with and with someone else on the Wii U. But here on the Switch, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Guess what? My first, playing the first mission... Which was the on um, which is this was demo mode, so I only had one mission. I played the first mission, and the first mission I played, I got platinum. I got I got because I got getting I got a bronze medal badge, silver medal, and gold medal, and because I got a platinum on my first try. You you don't have to believe that, but it's true. Also, I only need, like, three more Platinums. Now, what should have been a thing, though? They should have had, like, one more badge here, and one of them, one badge could have been, like, get a Platinum. Uh, medal, all medals and battle enemies, all medals and battle and that, and all medals and defeat bosses. Also, in the, I fought, like, two, I fought the Hemoth Fossbat and, um, Armored Maudad on my own time, and I got Platinum first try on both of those. Pretty much. The only one I haven't really... I'm not sure if I'm going to get Platinum first try is Pikmin 3. is the uh, bit first one on Battle Enemies. I have all the bingo battle badges. But enough of looking... Enough of looking at all my badges. <laughs> Let's look at the end of the day report. Day's report. We showed that beastly mirror slug who was... Who was boss and retrieved the communication without incident. Alpha's working on incorporating the... Devices transmitter into the Drake's communication system with creatures on communication systems. With creatures, the creatures on this planet will eat anything. What gluttons! I'm glad we copites aren't like that. Dot dot dot. Hmm. I wonder why. If you're not gluttons, then why you managed? Then why you took out your entire food supply pretty presumably very quickly? I don't know. And didn't get and didn't go to get any food sooner. Hmm. Anyway, that was Charlie making the report. And we are done with that. That you can now fight them sing and defeat bosses mission. Blah blah blah, yada yada yada, so on, so on, so on, so and so, blah blah blah.
uh, accidentally skipped the saved screen, so we're actually going here. Ignore all this. Ignore it all. Like, just no ignore it. But anyway, so I hope you guys all enjoyed. And, um... And... Don't for, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified. And I'll see you in the next one.